Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm out here listening around at SeaWorld on the Gold Coast because it's been a little bit since we've been out here. Thought it was worth checking out the construction updates for Leviathan and see everything else is going on. Cue the entrance music. Okay, so I'm just going inside the park and you know what? We haven't checked out the penguin habitat in the longest time. Like we'll get over here to Leviathan and all that sort of updating, but let's go see how the penguins are doing. Let's keep moving around, see what else we can see that's going on in the park, okay? Let's head down towards this ride. Why can I not remember the name of it? Right now, check out like the whole Leviathan updates. Whirlpool? No. Vortex, that's it. Wow, that took me too long to remember. So I've kind of come down here to turn. Vortex is there, like the end of this pathway to the sign where we normally come. Looking here. I can't honestly see much difference here except for let's zoom in, zoom in right there we can see there's a more noticeable gap in the like structure I'm guessing probably to walk into the queue line for this attraction from this side because we've noticed something similar we'll look again when we get around there near the um, Nickelodeon side to like enter it but besides that just a big crane here so it's looking good, but let's keep moving around. We'll go check out our other viewing spot. Still got a little bit to get down to our normal viewing platform, like over there. But can I just point out, this coast is gonna look amazing, like view line wise. With Vortex there, Le Leviathan there, and kind of dead snack somewhere in the center right there. We'd have Trident sticking quite high up as well. So it's gonna look amazing. Okay, so I've come out to my usual viewing platform. And okay, I can't see too much more that needs to go on here. Actually, just inside there, I can see like a concrete base plate, which if we're going off of what we can see around Vortex, I believe we probably have to have another, I'm going to say God statue, I'm not sure what the actual theming is. Like I said, I know it's New Atlantis, but are we looking for like Greek gods? Are we looking at, uh, what's it going to say? Aquaman and different aspects within that sort of mythology but either way that's there we can also see just over here like a little platform that doesn't appear to be connected to anything yet if it's going to be let me zoom in and also just underneath that behind this Spongebob ride we can see a few more metal bits that are yet to be installed so it's definitely coming along the yeah sorry Right there is that platform I was telling about. It doesn't look like it's connected to anything currently. It's definitely coming along. The website still just says coming soon with an opening date of this summer. So my guess is it's probably going to be around the December school holidays. Probably again largely to try to compete with Dreamworld's new offerings over the school holiday break as well. But I'm excited for this. And like I was saying, there's another of those entrances. So obviously. There's going to be like two separate ways to get into the queue line. Okay, so this little gift shop here in the Nickelodeon area is shut. I did give a little look in the windows. There is still merchandise in there, so it hasn't like closed down, but just not open today. So, so sign back there for Jet Rescue. So it's obviously open. This gate is still shut and we have still got another gate up there. Okay, I'm going to go a long way around, but I think it's fair to say that we're probably having Storm is still down for refurbishments, which is unfortunate because it's currently one of only three rides, probably mostly for adults here. That's on my way out of the Nickelodeon area here. I can see this Dora the Explorer ride. It's like a little spinner in bananas is currently down. 
And I forgot to point out, but that SpongeBob spinning right over there is also down when I was up on my viewing platform. But everything looks like it's put together for it. So obviously they're just leaving a space while they're trying to work on the coaster. So I've just got up here to the second entrance into the storm. Yeah, it's seeming like it's not open. I've got one more location I can check this kind of like around all these animals. Right at the back in this Seal Harbour. So let's go check that out, but it's not looking good. So we've got Scream here as well. So I think it's safe to say that the storm is definitely still down for refurbishments. But saying that, we're down this way, so let's turn and head over here into the Sea Lion Harbour and see how they are today. Cool and really interesting, but let's keep moving around. Actually, saying that, I'm just noticing in front of me, I think the pathway forward is blocked, so I'm gonna have to turn around and retrace my steps to get up there and continue walking around. I've just got back down here towards the reef area, and this store is still closed. We'll go around the other side to make sure. Okay, so we've got this little food booth window shut, and obviously, this side of it too. Let's just check down if this door is open here and it would appear not because the doors are shut but yeah so that's locked up which is concerning because that has actually been closed for three or four months now I think but let's keep moving around so it's coming to the end here sky climb is down but I feel like that's been down for the last year we have got a scrim wall here so I'm guessing some part of this whole jungle gym area is closed However, the Sky Fort area is open. Again, so it's kind of cool. I'm gonna start making my way back towards the front of the park and see what else we can see. I think I'm actually gonna skip going into, what is it, Shark Bay today. There's a few school groups here and the line to get in is quite long and we've seen it all kind of a few times. So let's keep moving and see what else we can see. However, it does seem like the underwater viewing area for the polar bears is reopened. So let's go down and check that out. Okay, so I've just come to the gift shop at the front. Ignore the show outside is going on, but I can see it looks like we've got some two new like our Shark Bay hats here, a juniors and an adult. It looks, I think it's an adult. Yeah, it's an adult weather. 10 for that one and 17 for that like one that looks like a kid's style. If I'm not mistaken, we also got another new sort of adult one here and a very subtle one with just a tiny little dolphin on the front. Yes, there's nothing on the back and both of them are 20. Well, 1999, but 20. Okay, I can't really see anything else that I think is new. Some of this stuff could be. That's why I'm quickly showing it to you guys. But saying that, I think I'm going to start to head out. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to have to leave it for today, guys. If you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Get notified next time I upload. Also, bottom screen, like always, on my socials. I know it was a short one, but I kind of thought it would be a quick little trip out here to see what the updates are. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.